This video shows you how to install the upgraded rear harness for the Beretta CX-4 Storm. When your harness arrives, it'll look just like this, already assembled. Unvelcro and remove it from the loop lock. Remember the orientation of these actual tri-glides where they're backwards from the, way they would, from the way that they would normally be installed with the uh, webbing going from the top underneath and then to the top again versus the, the uh, bottom to the top to the bottom. Just remove the tri-glides. It helps if you just leave them on the table the way that they are with this mail buckle facing up. That way you know the orientation of them. So first thing you're going to do is take the mail buckle and you're going to place it on the side opposite of your dexterity. If you're left-handed, you're going to place it on the right side of the weapon. If you're right-handed, you're going to place it on the left side of the weapon with this little loop lock wrapping around the front. You're then going to take one of these tri-glides with the middle bar with the ridges on top, put the webbing down to the top, and then feed it into this weapon's sling bar. It's going to be difficult to get out because of the angle, so you can take a zip tie, feed it underneath, and that'll help it through. Then feed it through the tri-glide so that it keeps it from moving. You're going to place the mail buckle and the webbing so that it wraps around the front of the stock with a loop lock facing on the other side. Then you do the same thing, place the tri-glide on top of the stock, run the webbing down through it. This one's a little easier to get through because of the angle of attack. Feed the webbing through again. And into the tri-glide. You're then going to grab the loop lock, put the Velcro harness through it, and pull it tight, and apply the Velcro. Now it's installed.